So one of the most exciting new features in Cubase 6 is the new time stretching algorithm, or even pitch uh, stretching algorithm. Um, it sounds better than anything I've ever heard before, but uh, I guess the only way to, uh, to portray that is for you to be the judge. So I've got this track up here. Now the first thing I've done in this track was added a tempo track. So as soon as we add a tempo track, we can actually automate the tempo in, in Cubase from our project window. There's a few different ways we can do that. We can jump from tempo to tempo. So if say you want to maybe brighten up a chorus and just add a couple of beats per minute, or one beat per minute in there, you can do that. But let's say you record the band and you want to actually slow the band down at the end. You can even just draw in a ramp. So from fast or from your normal pitch down to the lower pitch. So let's just check it out. I've turned on my tempo track and you can see we're 130. So this is what the track sounds like normally. So a normal track that we've got recorded there. Now what I can now do is go into my pool window. So in my pool window, you can see all of my tracks there. So I'm going to select all, and I'm going to make sure they're all in music mode. So not linear, so I'm just going to select music mode, and then you can see Elastic Pro. So this is basically the new algorithm. So there's a few things that I can do here. I can protect my time, or I can protect pitch. So let's start with time. So basically, it's going to focus on preserving the time uh, or the exact timing in our song. So I'm going to be fairly dramatic here because uh, you know a lot of people claim to have time stretching algorithms, um, but you'll never see them drop them down over a uh, dramatic, I guess a dramatic drop. So you can see here I've got 130 and I'm going to drop it all the way down to my point here, which is uh, 50 beats per minute. So I think it's during the guitar solo. Let's hit play and just and, and have a. So that is fairly impressive. In fact, that is very impressive. So that's using the, um, uh, the time format. So now if we go back into our pool window, we can just basically select all again. And now let's use pitch. So now it's going to preserve the pitch. And I guess the, the key person to listen to here is really the singer. Um, so let's play that using uh, pitch. <laughs> Okay, so that's fairly impressive as well. So now let's go into our pool window again and have a look at the third selection that we've got here. So I select all, Elastic Pro, and let's go to tape. Okay, so this will basically simulate um, an old tape based system. So if we wind the tape down, of course, the pitch lowers with it. So let's check this one out. So quite impressive there. You can see I've put quite a dramatic slant on that, but if you want to drop that over, say, one bar, you get quite a neat effect. In fact, you get, I guess, we'd be simulating an old uh, tape-based machine. Um, let's just go quickly back into our pool window and have a look at some of the other selections that we have here. So select all again. And now if we go back into it, Elastic, you can see we've got formant time, pitch, and tape. And the other option we've got is Elastic Effect. So you can see that there's three different modes there. We've got the normal mode, um, we've got the uh, elastic formant mode, and also we've got the elastic pro efficient mode. So that's if maybe perhaps you've got an older computer, you don't have as, have as much CPU processing power, and perhaps you're running a lot of plugins over the top of your um, over the top of your project.